guys. I hope you've been enjoying my uh, Asian food fest. Uh, in fact, if you're wondering what it says on my hat, it's my favorite Chinese restaurant called Taiwan On. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a bike week hat. But anyway, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make Thai fish tacos. But in order to do that, we got to make some batter dip fish. So I might as well show you how to cook beer battered codfish, which are also very good for fish and chips, by the way. So just to, what you're going to need other than the fish, you're going to need some flour. You're going to need, obviously, some beer, salt, pepper, one egg, and last but not least, some baking powder. So let's go over to the mixing bowl and I'll show you how to set up the batter and we'll give this thing a whirl. All right, here we have Mr. Bowl, into which we're going to put exactly one cup of flour. Then we're going to put one tablespoon of baking powder. All right. Then we're going to add in our salt. I'm going to use about, I don't know, half a teaspoon. I'm going to add a little fresh ground pepper to the mix. Give it a little zing. Then I'm going to break the egg. And last but not least, Time to add some brewski. Now I'm not going to add the whole thing. I'm going to add maybe about half. And I'm going to start mixing it as we go. You know, just what we normally do when you see me make the beer crumpets, otherwise known as brumpets. Because you don't want to over beer it, but you're forming a batter. Like it's going to be like a kind of like a pancake batter. And like I said, less is more. Just keep stirring. Keep checking. You want this thing to be able to cling. All right, that looks about right. And of course, you know what I'm gonna do with the rest of the brewski, right? So, then the next thing we do is make a little more room on our board, because if you want the batter to stick, you gotta roll the fish in some flour first. So what we do is we take the fish and we just, Douse it in some batter, I mean in some flour. Okay, and get it, you know, you want to get it coated because then once we get it in there, then we put it in the batter. And again, the trick is to get the batter to stick to it, like so. And while the batter is, while we're doing that, I'll just leave that there for a second, don't mind my franken fingers. I'm going to go around the other corner here over to the stove. I'm going to start firing up the stove. Okay, get some oil in it. Now again, what you want to do is you want to put some oil in the pan. All right, let me zoom in a little bit for you there. All right, you want to put some oil in the pan. And I like to put enough to coat the bottom but I don't want it to be actually swimming in it. I don't do it. There we go. Back to the bowl in which I have my fish. And again, you want to get it good coated, which this is, right? And then what we're going to do, let's move it over to the stove. Okay. So let's take the first fish and we're going to drop it carefully into the oil. And as you can hear, it's sizzling. Eventually, you're going to need to turn that puppy down a little bit, but not yet. And then we're going to do the next one. It's the same process. You coat the fish with flour, because that's what makes the batter stick. And then once you've got a good coating, you just dredge it in the batter. Again, make sure you get it coated as much as you can, because it's the batter that makes it sing. Okay, and then you pop it in the oil. Try not to get the fingers in the oil, okay? Then we do the next piece, and so on, until we have used up all of our fish. Like so. Put it in 
the batter. You follow me? And put it in the oil. If you miss a little bit, voila. Nothing to it. Pick last piece. You need to add more flour, be my guess, but I think I got enough here to do it. Again, you just want to get a light coating so that when you put it in the batter, it clings to it. There you go. By the way, if you have extra batter, you can always feel free to make some battered onion rings with this stuff too. It works out really well. There you go. When well, you take the bowl out of the way, go clean off the Franken fingers, right? Now, our first piece, I'll be ready to roll. And again, be careful if you're dealing with, as you can see, hot oil. You want to be very careful with the hot oil. Though. All right. And ideally, you want to cook these about four or five minutes aside. You want to give them enough time so that they, the fish actually gets done. But you don't want to have blackened uh, fish, so make sure you don't overcook them. Mr. Potholder here. There you go, they're looking nice actually. There we have it. Okay, so I'm going to set my little timer and we're going to give it about five minutes. Alright, these babies are ready to plate. Not obviously. We had enough beer for a uh, you know, a nice cold one. Uh, I actually used about half the beer in the batter. So all we're going to do now is just remove the fish carefully and let them drain. And obviously turn off the stove. And last but not least, 